Hello, good day from Sudhanshu. In this video, I will showcase how you can generate your own search engine using Google Cloud Services, that is Generative AI App, Gen AI App Builder. So first, you will have to go to the console by going to this URL, that is cloud.google.com. Once you are on this URL, go on to the console and set up your billing. Billing has to be set up as the first step. Once the billing is set up, go on to the upper left hamburger menu, scroll down. There you would find an option known as Generative AI App Builder. That is Gen App Builder. Click on Gen App Builder. You would see the prompts that are for the first time. Enable those prompts to start using the application. Then go into the new app section. Here you can select search engine chat or recommended type of AI app builder that you want to build. We will select select search as the option. Let the default options be enabled and then we will select the app name. Let the app name be something like test for public. Multi region be global. Create data store, website URL. Now remember, the search engine will showcase results even if there is a PDF under this URL. And the way to mention URL is mentioned over here. You can mention the search results listing URLs in this section, which is site to include. Let me enter nandyavarth.in, that is my website. And then I have Nandiyavarth Consultancy Services dot com Sudhanshu Jain dot com. Now what this search engine will do is it for any query that is put on the search engine, it will search through these websites for the content. If the content is not available, then no result will be so shown. Enter the data source name for test public. Click on create. You may be asked for enabling the API at the first instance. You can click on enable the API. Select the data source and click create. You have successfully created an app. Now we will get the try to get the code to publish it on the website. For that we have to go into the preview section. Once you are on the preview section on the console.cloud.google.com then you can click on further options. Go into the integration section. From the integration deck section you can mention public access and the domain on which you want to implement the search engine. Let's say I want to implement the search engine on nandiyavarth.in. That is the place where user will access this search engine. Click on save. You might be asked to generate certain uh, APIs or have enable them. You can enable them with no problem. Remember each search result corresponds to approximately one rupee of charges. Okay, scroll down. Copy this code. This is the HTML code that you want to put on your website. Let's create a website, simple website. Index.html Yes, yes. Double click. This is a blank page as of now. So what we will do is right click again and copy paste the code on this HTML website to see whether it works or not. Here is the search engine. Once I click on it, I will search for something, let's say um, website prices. Now it is going to show results which are based out of those three websites mentioned on the console presently it is not showing any result because it is not hosted on the website we have listed so i will go on to 
host this on the website just a minute You can also copy paste this code in the WordPress website that you might have built. Subdomains are also included in this web page. Let me rename the web page for convenience. Now I am going to upload this test page on the server. waiting for files to be uploaded now that this file is successfully uploaded I will check it on the server live configuration it.endeavors.in test.html this time I will run a search query again that is website prices Here are the results. Waiting to check if there is an error. Okay. Let's go again. Website prices. Checking again. Let us preview it under the search engine. If it is working here, it should also work on the website that we are hosting it on. Just a moment. copy the following code ok copying the code editing the web page just a minute let us verify
okay this is the code let us test it Here we are. The results have shown up. Sometimes it can take little while for results to show up. Now if you notice the results are only from the domains that I have listed on the console. That's it. Thank you. Good day. Bye bye.